everyone, Joel Hansen here with Raina as well. And today we are on our way to Biff Buxby's. I believe that is the proper pronunciation. I believe that's what it is. B-I-F-F-B-U-X-B-Y Austria. So we're under the Burger Challenge. They have two challenges there, a smaller one, and then the bigger one, which is called the Hindenburg, and that's what we're gonna go do today. So essentially it's gonna be four pounds of beef, uh, plus buns and toppings and fries and all that good stuff. Uh, it is in a place called Live Oak, I guess. And anyway, basically we're in San Antonio. So we're heading there now, should be a lot of fun. First time in San Antonio for the both of us. But uh, yeah, let's go eat some burger, I'll get some details for you. Let's have some fun. everyone so here we are with the Hindenburg challenges so yeah definitely a big burger so four pounds of beef four sets of buns then a whole bunch of fries apparently these vegetables are not mandatory but you know I'm sure we'll finish them anyway um, yeah so it looks good I got like chili and onions and I have, like those kinds of things on mine um, you had to pick five toppings Raina went with onions and peppers and it's some interesting toppings that's for sure all basically you had to pick five basically grilled or cooked toppings uh, so yeah let's get started here just momentarily we're gonna have 45 minutes and if we win we get a meal free and t-shirt hey everyone real quick want to thank sponsor today's video being Scentbird so Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service which gives you the opportunity to try over 600 different brands so Scentbird lets you choose a different fragrance every month for just $16 and every month you get to pick the exact scent you want so there's no surprises and as it's a flexible subscription you you can always skip a month without any penalties. They have perfumes, colognes, and many unisex options. And with each fragrance, you actually get a 30-day supply. So you can easily try out many fragrances of your choice without actually committing to a full bottle. And you can always upgrade to two or three cents a month like I did. And as some fragrances can cost up to $500 a bottle, you can try out some scents like the Harmonist, which retails at like $300 a bottle for again, only $16 a month. So what I went with this month, I went with Dolce & Gabbana's The One, which is a great scent, whether you're going out for a nice date and evening. I also chose John Vervedo's XX Artisan and Abercrombie and Fitch's Fierce. The sprayers are super easy to use and like I said you get a lot in them. A full 30 day supply. So that everyone definitely check out Scentbird if you want to smell great and get a great deal by using my code Joel at Scentbird.com. Again it's going to get you 30% off your first month. That's right so you're talking your first month for only $11. So that everyone click the link below and with that we'll get to the rest of the video. So we'll start, uh, it starts when we take our first bite. So wish us luck and Let's say at the count of five, four, three. Ooh, this is hot, but Jeez, we're in a rush, that. so one, enjoy. I'm trying to separate my meat here because that is very hot on the bottom. Woo. Like very hot. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Biff Busby's. Biff Busby's. Try saying that like a thousand times or t even five times fast. I definitely couldn't. I'm here to do their burger challenge. So as I mentioned, they had two burger challenges. They had the Red Baron, which the Red Baron is a pay for play. It is kind of like a five or six patty burger and uh, comes with fries. And then they have this one, which is the Hindenburg. So this Hindenburg is the biggest challenge. It is definitely a very big one. Like I said, over like we have four pounds of beef, not to mention all the toppings, all the buns, all the French fries. Um, like all that stuff, um, but if you beat this one you do get it free and you got the t-shirt So that was pretty cool. So of course, that's what we were trying today. So for the challenge it was uh, Mandatory you had to pick five toppings now the toppings were all um, like basically cooked grilled fried toppings you'd pick so it was like chili or fried onions or uh, fried uh, or like roasted red pepper like roasted peppers or fried peppers or like that kind of stuff so it was pretty interesting um, I went with as I mentioned earlier uh, kind of the main one being chili um, which was definitely an interesting choice um, I mean I figured it would add some lubricity which it kind of did but uh, I don't think I would do it again uh, it was quite uh, quite a heavy chili I'll put it that way 
Um, so yeah, definitely maybe some uh, another option I would choose different time. But like I said, they had onions, um, they had things like jalapenos and stuff. Um, so they did have quite a few varieties of options. Earlier, I uh, said that the vegetables also were not included. We, so we were also we were told by one person they weren't mandatory and one person they were mandatory so i think they actually are mandatory eating the few fresh vegetables they give you but i mean that's not a big deal it seems pretty standard to me um so i believe the uh previous record on this challenge was set by mr uh, wayne alginio um a good friend um who did this challenge a number of years ago uh like a handful of years ago and i think he had did it in about 14 15 ish minutes, something along those lines. Alright, first few minutes in, everything's going well. Tastes very good, just very, very hot. Rain is doing really well as well. So let's get these wins. Um, that was the only uh, name of. Um that I recognized on the uh, leaderboard, um, or of those who completed it, um, and there only been two or three that had actually uh, beaten it, so definitely not a often completed challenge. Um, for the challenge, you were able to kind of just show up and order it off the menu, which was cool, and I was very worried of how long this would take to prepare because we were uh, on a very short time limit, but honestly, they made it surprisingly quick for like four pounds of meat, I think because they were, uh, I guess, in like one pound patties, um, pretty thin, they were able to cook them pretty quickly. Uh, that being said, with us being on a time limit, as you can tell, the food is steaming, steaming hot. I mean, even now, there's steam roaring off uh, both of our burgers, uh, but nonetheless, it was, uh, it was tasty, and they had a the, the seasoning in the meat, which I enjoyed. Um, kind of like, uh, kind of reminded me of like a steak spice or like something along those lines. So if you like kind of those flavors, um, you know, a bit of like a onion, garlic powder, etc., uh, you'll definitely enjoy it. And I did enjoy this as well. Um, again, just an overall tasty challenge. The buns were solid as well, no complaints. They were generally pretty soft. Um, and I do think that this place would be uh, a great place just to sit down and have a casual burger. Of course, again, they do have the challenges, which, you know, well, hey, if you want to try that, well, all power to you. But uh, just have a casual burger, I think it'd be also a great place. All right, I'm getting through the beef here, so it's Reina. And we're just down to the fries. The uh, restaurant was quite busy at the time, um, was, or I should say it was quite busy when we arrived, clearing out by the time we got the challenge. So we kind of arrived at a good time, but I could see why. It was uh, prices were generally pretty affordable as well, and overall pretty solid challenge. Um, if we were to fail this one, it was about forty or fifty dollars, forty-five, fifty dollars, something along those lines. So of course we did not want to do that. And then the question that I had to ask because I was very curious, being where on earth did this name come from? Buff Bixby's or something? And it was something along the lines of the one of the owners or the General, there's a husband and wife, uh, and the husband was obsessed or really, really liked airplanes and stuff. So the whole restaurant is just filled with airplanes. It's airplane themed. How's it going, right now? Oh, another. Yes, sir. Mm. Those buns actually taste really nice, like sweet. Thank you, buddy. And I don't remember if he actually worked in aviation or not, but like I said, somehow strong airplane, aerospace, whatever, ties, etc., etc. And hence a restaurant, a whole restaurant dedicated to basically, well, it's like an airplane restaurant, which is pretty cool. It's very, very unique. That's the special put it, a very unique restaurant that actually serves cool food. So it's nice that they have, um, you know, not only a unique spot, but a spot which is very functional. The fries are pretty crispy, so I'm gonna try not to cut my mouth up, but uh, maybe like six minutes in. The one thing I forgot to mention, which is pretty cool, is you were allowed to have guacamole, so that was a side we had. I had mine in the cup. Reina put hers on the plate. Um, but yeah, kind of nice to, again, have some of those more, uh, we'll say, eh, quality, not quality, premium, premium toppings um, as the five that you can choose. So I really appreciated that. Um, but that, everybody, I think that's pretty much all the information. Pretty straightforward. A lot of fries, which were quite crispy. Um, of course, the big burger, which we already touched on. Um, that's about it, guys. So with that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Definitely a cool place to stop by if you're ever in the area. Again, it's just outside San Antonio. 
Um, I technically entered the Antonio city limits, but never really got to stop anywhere. So this is about as close as I got to being San Antonio. But with that, everybody, if you've liked the video so far, please consider subscribe and hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me, let me know what you think. And uh, let's get to the rest of the video, guys. Let's see what happens. Let's get some wins and let's go. All right, just jump to the buns, so you have avocado for me, and then Rain just has a little bit of everything left. Maybe like eight and a half minutes in. I'm just going by my camera, I'm not sure. Very good bunch. <clears throat> I think it's about 12 minutes. I'll get the person to clarify. But well, Randy's doing well as well. So for, uh, 40, I finished about 40 seconds ago, so whatever that is. Did you really? Yeah. 40 seconds ago, at 31, 17. Something like that. Oh, amazing, dude. Thank you. Appreciate awesome it. job. Yeah, again, going by my camera, I think it was roughly 12 minutes. Getting to go, of course, you have the time around the screen. Raina's doing really well, she's finishing up there, so. Keep going, girl. And if Raina finishes, which she will, I think she's the first female winner. Probably about 17-ish minutes in. So I'm 
17, 17 and a half. Probably about 20 minutes, so good job, Rita. Congratulations. Again, I think she's the first female to complete it. And then we did get a new record with whatever my time was, 12 something. What's the beat? Um, was it, it was 14 or 15 minutes by our good friend, Mr. Wayne Alquino. Jalapeno. What? There's a random called Wayne Alquino. There you go. So then everybody, thank you so much for watching. Huge thanks to staff here. Very accommodating, very, very friendly. They gave an environment that they're really cool about the challenge and they're really pumping it. And uh, they helped, we're in a bit of a rush, so they're very ensuring, very ensuring to bring out a good uh, amount of time. So everybody, thank you so much to like something happy, hungry, happy eating. You know what to do, have a great day. And the words are right, like bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a lovely life. Very suiting though, eh? Well, yeah. You guys are magic. You're very active on the Facebook page and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so when we get this. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also, I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said, guys, hit that subscribe. Hit one of these videos. Do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day. So again, thank you very much, Semper, for the sponsorship. And that, guys, click the links down below.